Doctor, can you talk about POMI tea? What is that? Just describe that for us. Well, POMI tea actually is derived from a placebo controlled randomized trial which we performed in the UK, um, in, in Cambridge and Bedford. Um, and the name of the trial was nicknamed POMI tea. Um, but then from that, a supplement was, was developed, uh, which, which then had the same name called POMI tea, which contains uh, four polyphenol rich foods, uh, pomegranate, green tea, uh, turmeric and broccoli, which have basically been um, concentrated, freeze dried uh, and put into a, a pill as a sort of convenient way to boost your daily polyphenols. So that's now uh, become known as POMI tea. And what, what is it used for? I mean, what, what do you recommend that for? Well, I'm, I'm a consultant oncologist, and I, I research into uh, nutritional lifestyle strategies. And we originally developed this with an institution in the UK called the NCRI, or the National Cancer Research Institute. And we developed a, a trial uh, to see whether if we can boost someone's polyphenols on a daily basis, it would reduce the risk of post prostate cancer progression in men who are on a program called active surveillance where they don't have any other treatments, they're just being watched for a little while, mm. or men who have had prostate cancer treated and their PSA levels have started to increase to show that their disease is relapsing. So it was specifically evaluated in those two groups of men to see um, if you can prolong the time which is needed before they go on to have, say, prostatectomy, hormone therapies. Uh, so uh, if, we, if we were to go by the, the trial itself, it was that group of men uh, who were seen to have a significant benefit. Uh, but of course, um, the background to the development of, of POMI T was to look for you know, anti-cancer properties generally. Uh, that was just the first trial we started. And from the trial, of course, uh, it was, this was run through uh, the UK government, so it was very strictly um, conducted and controlled. Uh, we had to measure lots of parameters of, of benefit, including a number of things like joint pains, which came out as also being positive. Now, uh, of course, that, that was only a secondary endpoint, so we can't really report that uh, in the medical journals, but we are now going to do other trials looking at a number of things, such as uh, you know, whether it helps joint pains, we're going to look at other types of um, uh, conditions, men with prostate cancer, but on other treatments, such as men who already started hormone therapy, but the hormone therapy is starting to lose control, see if we can get more out of it. Um, so you know, in, you know, I've gone a long way around to answer your question. Yes, specifically for the trial, it was those two groups of men, but we're hoping there will be a whole, uh, whole new group of people who may see benefits from these treatments. Mm -hmm.